guys, this is Micah with Blue Roots Media Marketing. And so there's three things that I think everybody should know in Illustrator. One is going to be the tools panel. It's relatively simple, but if you don't know what these different things do, it's not going to, um, you're not going to be able to use it use Illustrator effectively. Also in Illustrator, there is a little bit different than Photoshop. So in Photoshop, there's hidden menus just like in Illustrator, but you would do either right click or um, control click to be able to access those. Illustrator is a different animal. You click and you hold, which will bring down the um, hidden menu. All right, there's one thing there. Also, you can go ahead and double click and there's different settings that you can set within um, those options. All right, another little quick thing to know about the tools panel is that below the thumbnails displaying all this stuff, there is a um, little quick um, little quick shapes and colors and fills and stuff like that. So you can swap colors by pushing X. You can see that down here. All right. And then say if I take this white and I change it to blue, I can go ahead and I can change that back to the default, which is black and white, by pressing D on the keyboard. And so that's a little, um, something a little bit important that you know that you need to know and then also here you can go ahead and switch drawing modes by go ahead and pressing shift D and you can change if you look down here you can go ahead and you can change the different modes from um, that you're drawing in. The next tool I want to uh, show today is I want to show the pencil tool the pencil tool lets you draw free form like a pencil on paper. It will create open and close paths and will place point point anchors place point anchor points. Uh, that confused. I wrote this down so I wouldn't sound like an idiot today. As you draw, you can't determine where the anchor points are positioned, but you can adjust them after you are done drawing. The pencil tool is great for creating sketch looks and feels. It's not as precise as the pen tool, which we'll get to in a minute, but that's the whole point. So I click on this and I can go ahead and I can draw something really quick with that. And, you know, just like if I was on a piece of paper or something. The pencil tool has different options that I'm going to highlight real fast. And the first option, if you double click, is going to be Fidelity. And that controls how often anchor points are added to the drawing path and how far you have to move your cursor before a new point is added. There's a smoothness controls how smooth the path is. The higher the number the here, the more points are added to the path as you draw, resulting in a more accurate line. There's the fill new pencil stroke. I'm going to reset that, by the way, because it's something I'm going to do in a minute. But that simply adds a fill control to the line after you draw, a, draw it. The results in the results in more of a shape than a line. Keep selected. Control it controls whether or not the line should be selected or unselected after you're done drawing it. There's the edit select path determines whether you will be merging with an existing path if your new line gets within a specific distance of it. Within within or within X pixels determines how close your new line must be to an existing path to merge. That's the pencil tool. That's the tool that everybody should know and I'll show you a neat trick with this after I'm done showing you the pen tool. 
which is up here. The pen tool is the heart and soul. I mean, is like the meat, the potato, the awesomeness of what Illustrator is. Um, it allows you to have a little bit, it takes a little bit of practice to understand how to properly use this tool. But once you master placing and editing anchor points, you will draw and trace without with and I mean with anything you desire. Anchor points. Get this anchor points are what makes Illustrator. It is like what why it it besides that you are basically working in a Victor format with Illustrator versus Photoshop. It literally is why you I mean it revolutionize if you want to be a designer you need to know this tool the basic concept of the pen tool is clicking to add points versus drawing a line as you add points illustrator adds the line between the points automatically you can then edit the lines by drawing and dragging the anchor points and their handles now if i click there and i click here that adds an anchor point all right, click there, click there, adds another anchor point, adds an anchor point. And I'm able to go ahead and I can manipulate this a little bit more. If I click on the A tool, it'll bring me to um, to this tool, define selection, then I can drag and I can go ahead and I can delete this all the way. Ooh, wait, miss one, delete. All right, those are two things that are vital to Illustrator that everybody must know. Why? Because in the tools section, I mean in the type section, which is another animal which is really powerful with Illustrator, if I was to take the pencil tool, go ahead and do a little drawing like this, then I could type the type, but then I can take and type area, I mean type on path. I can click down here and I can type in Blue Roots Media and Marketing. Oop. Well, you get the point. Now, what I've done is, is that I can go ahead and create any type of shape, any type of thing that I want to create here. And then I can go ahead and write on that path. So say if I do something like this. I can now write on that path, which is really cool. And then another little neat concept that I want to point out with Illustrator is when you draw shapes. All right, say I'm in the middle of this shape here, but I want to move that. I press the space bar, I move around, okay? So I drew a shape here, but say I want to go ahead and draw from the center of this shape. All I have to do on a Mac is press Option, and now I'm drawing from the center of that shape. That is some of the cool things. Another little thing I want to show is like, say if we draw a polygon here. Alright, polygon. But I want to increase the size of so the star points, etc. Well, move that over here. All I have to do is on my up key, move that up. Or my down key on my keyboard, move it down. Really easy, really simple, right there. Besides that, I think just getting into Illustrator, there's a whole lot more like swatches and color groups and um, art symbols and being able to granulate and add swatches and stuff like that. But for right now, those are some of the basic tools that I wanted to show you that I think to get you started and get your feet wet in Illustrator, you need to know. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe, like this video, um, and I hope you create something and you get down in there. Designing and graphic design is not just about the fundamentals and the techniques and making everything like what people think it should be like and what we learn in school or whatever it's about being creative and being an artsy kind of person and really exploring and so these are some of the tools that will help you do that 
Check out my website, www.blue-rootsmarketing.com or at Facebook at facebook.com slash blueroutsmm. Same handle for Twitter. Thanks. Create something. <laughs>